What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I figured I would just kind of go over this last little while of training, give you a brief update of what's been going on with my marathon training and what I've got coming up this weekend. So let's take a look. So it has been some steady training with the neck issue I had last week. Uh, I didn't run Monday or Tuesday. And so I started Wednesday and I ran pretty much for eight consecutive days, which is rare for me. I usually don't run any more than like six days at the most. Uh, and so I put it in those eight days. It was like 67 miles, which is pretty good for me. It's the most I've done in a while in that time frame. Uh, so, you know, my legs were tired this week. I was feeling it. I had some pretty good workouts in there as well that I was definitely feeling the, the fatigue of 67 miles. Isn't a lot for some people, but for me, that's pretty good. So I talked about last weekend's long run was gonna be two and a half hours. So I did that, it was pretty darn cold. My hands froze like the <laughs> for a lot of the run. I didn't uh, wear the right gloves for it, but uh, ended up being a little over 18 miles at uh, you know a, a 7.56 pace, I think. Uh, a little over a thousand feet of elevation gain on the road, which is perfect because the marathon that I'm training for, the Covenant Health Knoxville Marathon, is a hilly course. I think it's somewhere around that 1,400 feet of elevation gain over the whole, you know, 26.2 miles. So it's pretty hilly. So it's perfect training for what I've got coming up. Then on Sunday, I hopped on the treadmill for some Netflix and Mill, some uh, catching up on my Peaky Blinders, trying to wrap up season five. Uh, also did some yoga, which felt really nice just to kind of try to let the body recoup a little bit. And then Monday was also another day of Netflix and Mill, uh, just another Peaky Blinders episode. This was just an easy run, nothing crazy, just I think it was basically flat the whole way. So uh, just kind of getting the legs moving, keeping that, that volume going. And then Tuesday was hill sprints again, so I went back outside. So I had to do six 20-second hill sprints uh, with a pretty much a jog back down the hill then go again, uh, and then in between, or after that first set, I then did a two to three minute jog, and then another six 20 second hill sprints. So all in all, it was an hour workout, uh, but those hill sprints, I, during my warm up for that session, I felt dead, like my legs just had nothing in them. Uh, and I was honestly contemplating not doing the workout because I figured it was probably not gonna be quality, but I ended up you know, trying it. I said, let me go ahead and just do the first set, the first six, and my legs kind of woke up and felt okay during it. So uh, it was good that I did it. It was definitely good to do it on tired legs for sure. And then Wednesday was back on the treadmill. We've had, it's, this, this has been crazy. Like normally in Tennessee, we don't get a lot of snow, but we've had a lot of snow lately. Like we've had one snow that we had about five inches of snow. And then we had another one just this past weekend where we got like seven inches of snow. And it actually snowed more today, which is ridiculous, but uh, yeah, so I was on the treadmill yesterday for uh, a progression run. So it was just an easy, uh, like a 30, you know, easy 45 minutes, uh, just a you know, really easy pace, like an 820 something. Uh, and then I had to progress over the last 15 minutes of the run where I would go ending up at about a, a marathon pace tempo effort. So a little, little faster than marathon pace. Uh, so I think I finished at like a 714 ish pace on the treadmill. Uh, but it was good, just get those legs turning over a little bit quicker. I did throw in a little bit of elevation on that one with the with the incline trainer, nothing crazy, just a couple hundred feet. Uh, but it was a good, you know, good run. So today, the day you're watching this Friday, I have another easy run with a little uh, quick stretch workout thing at the end of that. Nothing crazy, probably just like a 45 minute run. But on Saturday, my long run is gonna be my longest run in quite a while. It's gonna be three hours on the road. I did a uh, designed a little route, which is part of the Sawbriar half marathon course, but then a lot more. So I will actually do about probably around 22, a little more than 22 miles in that three hours, hopefully. And that'll be, uh, it's only about 800-ish feet of elevation gain, supposedly. So we'll see what the watch actually says versus what Gaia GPS says. But it's going to be cold. Uh, it's going to be in the 30s on Saturday. So it'll be a, uh, it'll be a good run for sure. It'll test me. Uh, I'll have to wear my vest with, you know, some tailwind, make sure I dress appropriately and have good gloves because the hands, if they get cold, it'll just be miserable the whole way. But yeah, three hours on the road, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be a challenge. <laughs> so it'll, it'll be fun. It'll be a good, it'll be a good workout and good for me to get used to running long on the road. But that's my training for this week. And then next week is a very, a little bit easier week, not much, but just a little bit. Uh, but then I was talking to my coach, letting him know how you know tired my legs were feeling, and 
he thought it'd be a good idea to put in another easy, like an actual really easy week. So after next week, the week after that, which is week 11 of my training plan, uh, we're going to do an easy week where it's like three, maybe four days running. I don't think there's any speed work. It's going to be a regroup week, basically, where I let my body adapt to all the training I've been doing, let it rest a little bit, lower volume, and then just get ready to kick it in full gear for the final push as we work in the last uh, I don't know, six weeks of training <laughs> to get to uh, to get to race day. So I'm definitely looking forward to a little bit of a down week for sure. But that's what's up for me. My wife was supposed to be going to the specialist tomorrow to have a, or today, the day you're watching this, to have a follow-up with the actual surgeon that would do the surgery, but they canceled it. Uh, I believe the office has a lot of people that have had uh, contracted COVID, so they canceled that appointment, thankfully. So uh, hopefully she'll get it rescheduled soon though, because I know she really wants to get in there and get that done and know when she can go ahead and get the surgery. So anyway, that's what's up with us. Anyway, that's it. That's what's up. Just a, a short little update video today. Not much, but thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate you all for commenting, uh, liking the video, thumbs ups, you know, it's much appreciated. Uh, if you want to take a look at a really cool uh, race, the Yamacraw 50K, it's going to be on this side over here. I ran that this past, uh, when was it? Was it November this year? April? Honestly, I don't even remember when it was. <laughs> it's going to be over here. You can take a look at it. It's a cool race. And then over on this side will be a playlist of some other trail running videos. Yeah. So take a look at one of those, and I'll see you on the next one.